Hey crafters, welcome back for part two of the Orky Tent video. I am a little bit under the weather, so we'll just pretend that I'm putting on my Orky voice uh, to finish this up. So let's go to the table and finish up those Ork tents. <sighs> So here we go, here's my tent, and I'm going to use this piece of thin cardboard for the door. I'm going to make a door flap, okay? You could leave it open if you want, but I wanted to cover it. So I'm going to just kind of roughly put that in there and just kind of get a rough general idea of the size and cut it with the scissors. And see it's fitting, but it's not fitting exactly, but it's fitting enough. And then I'll just cut the uh, to a rough shape that will fit right in the door there. And that can just pops right in there. And that will be the skeleton of my door flap, okay? So there we go. Now we'll uh, construct the door flap. So now I've got a piece of damp paper towel. And I'm just going to kind of squinch it up. And I'll just leave it like that because I want that kind of texture on the door flap. Okay. And so there's my tent. I've got the, the skeleton piece in there. And I'll pull that out. And I'm going to put it over the top of the flap. Okay. So I'm going to use my white glue and uh, put it full strength on there and just put the the paper towel on there and I want I want to leave that texture I really like that kind of texture so I'll cut it off just simply cut it off and uh, then I'm gonna kinda glue around a little bit just add some extra strength and adhesion to it and uh, that'll uh, glue it into the tent itself And so I'll just kinda push that in and see that the uh, paper towel is kinda covering in the little bit of uh, area that didn't wasn't covered by the skeletal door flap okay so that just fills all that in and we've got that really nice texture. It looks like a, a kind of a curtain in front of the door. So I'll put some uh, white glue, uh, watered down white glue on it, and we'll let that dry. I've skipped a bit ahead here and spray painted it flat black and then painted it uh, burnt umber so I get that nice uh, brown color. Now I'm going to use a light cinnamon and uh, paint the uh, exterior of the tent. So I'll put it in my uh, top there. I'm going to use a wide uh, brush and just dry brush it on. You just I just have a little bit of paint on the brush and I'm just brushing it on see that detail popping out of the tent really really nice it really looks like a tent at this point so you get that nice kind of leathery uh, look I really like the uh, look there and the dry paper towels are giving a nice uh, texture to this thing so we'll just keep painting around and there we go we've got our tent painted so now the next step is I want to paint the door and I'm gonna use a kind of it's a brick red I want to make it like a kind of a little bit of a red but not a bright red so I'm gonna use a wide brush and just kind of dry brush it on the door so I get a nice kind of um, look to that and it, I like it because it makes it different from the rest of the tent it has a different color so I'm gonna use a white and I'm gonna start painting the spines uh, or the tusks on this thing and I'll just start painting those in with the white and uh, then uh, they're way too bright right now so we will uh, we'll of course modify these so I'll just keep painting all those up until they're they're the bright white and uh, like I said we're not gonna leave them this way because that's way too white uh, you want to add some uh, some uh, uh, other color there and I'm gonna use a golden brown and I'm gonna uh, kinda do a, a wash with it so I'm gonna wet it quite a bit and then uh, put it on the uh, spines and then I'm gonna pull some of the color off with my finger so you'll get what you'll end up with is darker at the bottom and lighter at the top okay that's a nice trick you can do with this kind of stuff and you can see the difference there uh, it makes quite a bit of difference just doing that with your finger so uh, you're gonna have a brown finger but hey what can I say so there we go I uh, got all that on there so look at that nice difference that made from that bright white now I'm going to use a tan and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of um, highlight to this and just go around the edges and the places that are really sticking up on the tent you don't want to add too much uh, just a little bit see that just adds some extra dimension to the tent there and uh, I really like how that's coming out and uh, like I say the paints dry a little bit uh, darker than you see them when I initially paint them on so this will darken up a little bit so there we go nice nice look okay so uh, now I'm going to use a nice burnt sienna for the uh, to highlight the door so I'll just uh, load my brush up there and uh, my wide brush again and I'll just go to the front and I'll kind of dry brush that on. So that'll pull the flaps out, that detail of the flaps that we put on that door. I really like that, uh, that detail I want it to show. So I'll put a little bit of that on there. There we go. There's our work tents. Now let's go to the table. 
This craft is really the epitome of uh, the DM's craft, cheap and easy to do. Let me give you a closer look at this orc tent. Get out of there, orcs. He's move, move. I uh, really like the folds in the flap door. I think that's really great. The different color really sets it off. Uh, the texture of that paper towel is just fantastic. It really looks like a tent. And you can just, it's solid. It's just the glue soaked, it's solid, really nice. The spines on the tent from the fork uh, really look good. Um, really a great accent. And there you go. There's your own orky uh, camp encampment. Keep crafting. Hey, DM crafters. I hope you really like the Orc Tent video. I want to talk to you for a second about a service I've joined called Patreon, where you can tip uh, your favorite creators for making uh, their content. Uh, this will help me to improve my uh, production and video equipment, and so I was asking for your help. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can tip a certain amount per video, and uh, what that means is, say you tip a dollar, I actually produce about two videos a week, one to two, and if I produce about two a week, it'd be eight dollars a month. So you can also set caps on that, you can set limits, um, and I also wanted to say that any videos that I do that aren't craft related, you will not be charged for. So that would really go a long way to helping me uh, improve my production and, and video equipment. So if you do like these videos and you've got a lot of enjoyment out of them, please consider doing that. And uh, now let's uh, go to Roderick. Hey DM Scotty, I told you not to put me with the orcs. If you don't know why I don't like orcs so much, why don't you watch the Taylor Roderick video? Alright, gotta go. Bye.